Welcome back, Halo followers. 343 just did an overview of Infection for Season 4. Of course, this is dropping in just a couple of days on June 20th. And they basically show off the trailer, which we've already seen and broken down. And they talk about the history of Infection and how we got here. But I really got to give 343 credit for not ruining Infection. I swear to God, I thought there was going to be some kind of weird twist or some kind of weird addition thing to this, just like they did in Halo 4 Infection. But no, they talk about here the rules of engagement. And they discuss it being exactly the way that we really wanted it to, right? Infection is a round-based mode where one team infected converts the enemy team survivors to their team upon killing them, right? And there's an alpha and also lots of beta infected, right? And you can actually see this being explained here with these images. One to the left is the alpha infected, and then to the right we have our beta infected. So that's going to be a little bit easier to read and understand who is the alpha and who is beta this could be pretty important on certain game modes and certain experiences that people create as well as just typical infection in matchmaking right so really excited to see this at play hopefully we can turn these red holographic things off i think that they're maybe a little bit it kind of kind of screams pg-13 a little bit just kind of wish we had the flood but for now i think this is fine and as long as 343 doesn't like add anything crazy to the experience which it doesn't seem like they are anything like trying to reinvent the wheel i think that this is going to be really really fun with the sandbox that we have in halo infinite so as they explain alpha infected will see more prominent effects in their spartan with erratus covering more of their helmet and other red holographic effects on their armor and then of course the beta will have you know just the the face going on here right and they actually kind of look honestly like Guardians. They got the little teeth going on and the slanted eyes. Kind of reminds me of Guardians from Halo 5. Anyway, they also say that some of you may have noticed some things in the Academy background as you navigate various menus throughout Season 3, such as power surges in the UNSC equipment and red flickering. So this is the first time that they've actually acknowledged this from my understanding. Upon entering the simulated environments in the multiplayer maps, you will see some very noticeable changes to these spaces because we got infection-specific map variants that will be played with this mode. Maps will be overtaken with disorientation or distortion, sorry, and digital lightning to convey the thematic aspects of the incarnation of infected, but they also have dead Spartans on the ground. New areas to hide or find temporary shelter. These are probably the parts of the maps that are on all the multiplayer maps that are kind of like that you can get into that 343 for some reason made, but were not accessible until probably now. And other paths that might have been blocked off by crates that could leave you to a dead end. So yeah, I like that 343 planned for this long ago, added some new things to maps that we've been playing for a long time. And, you know, I'm just pretty excited to see what, you know, how this is actually going to play, right? I think Infection is super, super long overdue. And, yeah, I mean, it looks like they, they kind of got it down, like, what Infection really is, right? Survivors start out with limited supplies and will need to acquire additional weapons, equipment, and ammunition from the map, kind of forcing them to spread out. And the goal for Infected is to eliminate all the survivors. So... Think about this with Forge. There's going to be so many different kind of experiences that people are going to Forge. I think that it's so long overdue, and I really hate that 343 killed the momentum on this game by not releasing this on day one. But, you know, since the game released in pieces, I think it's okay for our hype to be here in pieces. I think some people are confused why they're excited, but, like, yeah, I mean, this is a big part of custom games and forge so it makes sense to be hyped for this right i am going to be playing season four i might be even streaming it so i'll catch you guys very soon and i'm sure there's going to be some more news coming out this week too see you soon bye